we were lucky that in the first couple of years we were able to travel with our um, with Sofia and she came with us all the time that was really that that was the ideal because everybody was together and I was still doing my job and um, that was really the the perfect for me it was the perfect scenario <laughs> It's now the priority for her um, and that we're not able to be together all the time in this beginning of uh, this spring and beginning of summer. You know, we are apart a little bit more and also that's a little bit harder. It's harder for me and it's probably harder for her as well. And uh, so that's you know, where you have to find, try to find a good balance. Now that we uh, moved to the States, it has been a little bit more challenging because the, the, the main events and the, the big sport is, is in Europe. But now that we are here, I've been going back and forth a little bit because I really cannot stay far from my family more than, let's say, two weeks is really the maximum that I can, that I can handle. So I've been mean, spent two weeks in Europe and I'll come and spend, even if it's two, three or four days a year before I go back. So there's a bit of logistics that are, that are involved and the priority was to set the family in the environment where they would be the most comfortable with. And if that made me travel a little bit more, which is the case, it's fine, I can do the traveling, but my priority was to set them in the best place for them. And that was here. Being able to come home and be a little bit relaxed, even if it's for two, three days, it's really nice, you always kind of recharge the battery before you go out again. The company of the, of the family and friends that are, you know, that are, that are here and um, doing more of the schedule at whatever time you want and not having the constraint of, uh, of having to do something at a certain time as opposed to on the road, you have your, your day from the moment you wake up until the time you go to bed is everything is timed. You never switch off completely. You still, you know, the business is still going on. The business is still turning. People are still having problems day to day. Horses are getting hurt, traveling. Despite that you're here, you want to relax. You know, the world's still turning very quickly and moving very fast. Sometimes it's not like ideal and you still have to, you know, do these things, but it's a much less ratio than when you're, when you're on the road where that is constant and then the priority is really the, the business and the job. One of the things that I learned from my father was patience. The horses require a lot of patience because they don't always understand on the first, on the first go and some of them you have to explain it again and again. And, uh, and uh, so patience I think is a character trait that you, you need to have you know, in everything, whether it's with the sport, whether it's family, whether it's you know, with everything that you do, I think patience is important. So that is something that you know, I learned, uh, I learned from, uh, from him. To see them grow, um, see the curiosity, the interest that they have, and see the development, you know, in the children on a daily, on a monthly, on a yearly basis is really, is really quite fascinating. And when they reach a certain age, the, the conversations that you can have are, are really are funny and, and interesting. And to me, that's really, you know, really the most rewarding that they are really interested in different things. I will never oblige them or force them or whatever because I wasn't forced and I wasn't obliged. I did it because, I, you know, it was there. I did it, I liked it, and then it went on from there. But I won't, I will not, you know, push them in any, in any way. Uh, they have to find what is good for them. I hope that they grow in developing, you know, their own personalities and their own characters and being respectful, uh, respectful human beings. 
and um, and doing you know in life what they doing what they enjoy and uh, and being happy happy children and growing up you know to become you know happy uh, happy individuals that's you know that's the most important thing in uh, in parenting is try to develop them to become you know good good citizens. <laughs>